guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel for what is going to be kind of a chatty review tutorial video, taking it in a different direction this time around just to change things up. But I want to talk about a holiday collection from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Dreamy Look in a Clutch. I got this guy from Octoly. If you're unfamiliar with what that is, I'll link it below. But basically, it's a way to connect with brands and try things that you're interested in. So this was sent to me from them. And inside, you get a limited edition eyeshadow palette, a mascara, an eyeliner, a lip liner, and a lip... Uh, li why am I blanking on this word? A lipstick. So basically everything you need to create this look except for the base. So a great way to get exposure to all these products. And then also something I know I forgot to talk about as I was making this was you also get a USB. It's actually a nice size. It's a four gig USB lipstick sort of thing. And on this, you get a video tutorial on how to use all of these products together to create a look or the look. So if you don't have plans to get this, I'm not, I think this is probably an exclusive video here. So, you know, if, if you're not gonna plan on getting this set, but you still want to duplicate it using some of the shadows in here, here, here is a tutorial because it is a nice everyday sort of look but at the same time you can pair it with you know a beautiful bold berry or bright red lip and it's like holiday ready but it's still so simple so if you want to see all that let's just go ahead and get started but before I do though I just realized I don't think I mentioned the base that I'm wearing here um, so on the skin I'm wearing my trusty J Manuel Beauty filter finish collection uh, skin perfecting foundation my shades medium filter one then I have the Kat Von D Locket Cream Concealer, and then I set all that, well, just the concealer really with the Kat Von D Translucent Setting Powder. If you've seen my favorites videos for like the past three or four months, you'll know this. So now let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's first get started with the eyes. I am going in with the eyeshadow quad that comes in this set. This is the Legendary Muse, and I believe it's limited edition. I'm sure it is with this set. It definitely has limited edition packaging because of the one or two quads I have from the line. They don't have the beautiful stars here on the outside, but still same size, same format, all that kind of stuff. This, when I first saw this on the inside, I was a little disappointed with the lack of contrast. I kind of thought these look like a bunch of lid shades to me, but I was really pleasantly surprised with the super subtle soft definition it created on the lid. So I don't know, there was something about this color collection that not challenged me. I mean, as a quad, it's, it's really great for beginners because it makes it easy and then especially because they have like guiding guidelines on the back along with the video that comes in this. I wouldn't say it was a challenge but it definitely gave me a different perspective as to what a super simple easy but really polished classic looking eye look could be especially given that these are all shimmers. And for reference I've already applied primer here. I actually have two different primers on because I am about to film a dupe or dud so in case you are wondering I have the Urban Decay primer potion on my right eye your left as you watch this and then I have one from um, Ruby Kisses over here on the other. Formulas are very, very similar, but you can get the full low down in the duper dud once I post it, and I will link it down in the description bar below. So I'm first starting with the lid, going in with the prime shade, and in the video that comes with this look, or just in general with these quads, they do say to apply this all the way up, like across your lid, inner corner, outer corner, all the way up to beneath your brow. But I find that this shimmer, although it's very fine, it's very finely milled, it's not like a disco ball or anything, I do find that I like to not go full on shimmer, you know, lid, lid to brow bone. So I tend to keep my brow bone bare or I will leave like a little bit of blank space in between my crease and my brow bone if I do want a little bit of highlight there. So just a personal preference, but just know that in general, that's how these quads work is the base shade or the primer shade is meant to go from your upper lash line to your brow bone. Then I'm going into the enhanced shade, which is kind of this more yellowy golden shade here and a fluffy crease brush because this goes right on in the crease. And this is what I was talking about where the differences in between these colors are so, so subtle, but on the eye, for some reason, they just perform the total opposite than what I thought they would. I can really tell a difference when they're on the eye and it just creates such a beautiful ethereal sort of look because you don't have that harsh contrast. Next is Time to Smoke, which in this palette is kind of a joke. It's this like light taupe shade over here, but we're going for it. And that I am using the same brush that I did before and just applying that to my outer corner. And that's going on both my upper and lower lash line as well. So there that is, and once again, who would have thought that three shades so, you know, subtly different from each other would have created a look like this? Not me. 
So last I'm going in, I find that the, what are these called? The pop shades. Every one of these palettes tend to have what's more of like a pressed, pressed pigment or pressed shimmer. Um, they could be a, a very loose overspray if you apply them with a brush, but if you apply them with your finger, you get a major glittery, actually even, I would say even more than glitter. Um, when you apply them with your finger, the glitter is so dense that it becomes more of a metallic pop across the lid. Just so pretty. Next up is liner, a deluxe sample size comes in this set. Generally they do have like full size liners, but in this set it's a deluxe sample size. This is the shade Bedroom Black and the Legendary Eyeliner line. So for this look, I'm just going to apply it directly to my upper lash line and then go in and smudge it out. The texture of this eyeliner lends itself really, really well to working with it for a solid 30 seconds to a minute before drying completely down. Yet when I wear it in places like my waterline, I don't find it moving or budging throughout the day. It really does set and stay all day without migrating across either your waterline or your lid. And yet it is still a good consistency to apply directly and then really smoke and smudge it out for kind of a maximum sexy effect. Also hot tip, if you are not a fan of drawing a really precise ultra opaque cat eye, a smoky smudgy one is a really easy way to skirt around the need to be ultra precise and specific. Then there's mascara. This is the legendary mascara in the shade black vinyl, basic black mascara. Once again, a deluxe sample size, not a full size here. And I forgot how much I love this formula. It's not super thick, so your lashes don't feel weighed down, but they definitely amp up the volume. The only shortcoming I really see in this formula is that it doesn't hold curl as much throughout the day, which isn't something that I particularly struggle with, but if curling and maintaining, like getting and holding that curl throughout the day is something you're looking for, this might not be the formula for you. Like yikes, look at those lashes. Yeah, I forgot how much I like this formula. Last up are the lips. I just applied a little bit of blush and that one is from this Smashbox holiday blush kit thing. Uh, it is the shade here called Rich Coral. But for the lips, there is a deluxe sample size lip liner that comes in this set. It is the shade Bitten Kiss. And then there is a full size lipstick. This is Secret Salma. I'm just gonna go in and apply some lip liner, slightly filling in my lips. The formula of this lip liner is up there with Huda Beauty's lip liner for me because they are so smooth and creamy to apply. They don't tug at all on your lips. They don't feel like they're drying your lips out at all. Don't emphasize fine lines, any of that business, but they do help if you wore them alone, they're long lasting. If you wear them under lipstick, they keep your lipstick on longer than they would otherwise. So I really, really like this formula. And this shade in general is just an amazing nude with just enough pink undertone to keep you from looking dead. Now onto Secret Salma. This is quite a bit more pink, I would say, than the lip liner, which is more of a true nude with that pinky undertone. So you're not looking at an exact match here, but it is a very beautiful shade of a cool pink. I wouldn't even call it a mauve because it lacks those gray undertones. It's more of a true pink, but just a very subdued, sort of just bitten lip shade. And this is another lip formula where even though it is this ultra satin, pretty matte sort of situation you're looking at, very comfortable on the lips, doesn't dry them out, and is really long wearing without looking unflattering on your lips as the hours go on. All right, so now that the hair's a little bit more done, this is the final look. I don't think it's a surprise. I really like the way this look turned out. I think it's nice that you get basically everything you need to create it all in one kit. At the same time, you get to, you get solid exposure to a bunch of different Charlotte Tilbury products in the event you haven't, or if you do have some of these, because some of them are permanent, like the mascara or the lip liner, things like that, you do get limited edition goodies. So there's still a little bit something new for you to try, but you still get that value. You. So that's it from me guys. I'd love to hear what holiday sets you guys are interested in. Definitely let me know in the comments below. But besides that, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.